Hey guys, sorry about the way this video is going to go, but I had to do what I could with what I had, and this was filmed back in the beginning of winter. Um, yeah, just watch the video. It, it gets kind of strange. Just because I can't wait any longer, we're going to see if we can do this one-handed and not cut myself in the process. Looks like a nice case. It feels pretty rugged. It's got a little bit of weight to it. And let's see what we got over here. Carrying strap. That's a fairly decent, fairly decent strap. Again, nice, nice looking case. All right, and it's double zippered. zipper it up in either direction. Let's see what we got in here. Whoa. Cables. There's a zipper right there that holds the cables in. Charging cable. Connectors for the cables. Pull those right out. This one here plugs into the charge pack, and we have two. They feel over nice and solid. Got a good, good spring to them. And you get cigarette lighter adapter and two cords. I believe are USB to USB C and USB C to USB C. And the 120 volt adapter to charge it in the house. Okay. Now we managed to get all of that stuff back up into the top. Let's see what we got underneath here in the bottom. A little pouch right here that contains a warranty card. A warning card probably all the nasty little things that it's made out of. Uh, let's see, and the user's manual. It's not uh, too shabby. How many different languages is this thing in? Uh, apparently a lot. Oh, yes, indeed, quite a few languages. But in any case, I think what you guys are more interested in right now is what's in here. And so am I. Oh. Get my fingers underneath it and get it out at the same time. It's pretty secure. And that little 
Ouch, wow. Nice little protective bag. Even the bag's got a strange feel to it. It's uh, not quite as rigid as, as like a cellophane or anything, but it's not quite as soft as rubber. Somewhere in between. Caution. Fully charged before use. Not too heavy a unit, but boy, does it feel solid. Well, now we know what it looks like. Oh, what do we got here? You have a flashlight. A two different USBs. Uh, helps if I look at it right side up. 5 volt, 2.1 amp. 5 volt, 9 volt, 12 volt. High speed USB. Plus, it's got the in and out for the USB C. Neat. Well, like I said, we just picked this up. So, let's bring it in the house and uh, get it charged up. And here it is, almost fully charged. Hello and welcome back to House Call Auto Repair. Today I got a 2003 Subaru Legacy Wagon that uh, just doesn't want to do anything. And we're going to go jump start it with the Gulu 4000. Time for the Gulu 4000. This usually works really, really well. I'm just going to give you guys a quick example. Plug it in on the side. Battery indicator comes on. Hook up your clamps. And there's a little red light right there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not right here hand out of the way. Now we'll hook up positive. And it says I'm hooked up backwards. Now that's not too cool. It says I'm hooked up backwards. This is the ground wire. <clears throat> ground wire should always be closest to the metal. Our battery is dead, dead, dead. So we're gonna give it a boost. There's a little boost button right here. Because right now, if I try this, nothing's gonna happen. Nope, it's got some weird buzzing inside. So let's push this little button, which is not working. Why is this not working? That battery is that dead? It'd probably help if I tighten down that clamp too. All right. Well, this is the first time I've had this do this to me. And now, oh, there we go. Plugging it here, and then plugging it back in, see if that works. No, well, that doesn't work. This is the first time I've had this not, at least I thought it was supposed to. That's because I have them hooked up backwards. Dum-dum. 
and I heard something pop, so let's see what happened. She's a blinking one light now, that's not a happy camper. That's not a happy camper. Let's see what happens. I think I blew up my Google. I blew up my Google. Hope I didn't just blow up my glue. I blew a main fuse in the car. Good job. Question is, is what fuse did I blow? Never fails. I had to go and do something stupid, didn't I? I just blew up my gulu. Well, I can't believe I'm so stupid. Well, even as mechanics, we make stupid mistakes. Yeah, I got the old blown fuse out. New fuse to put in. And hopefully it doesn't blow the minute I put it down. That's good. See what happens.
doing this just to keep the ears from getting squished together. Battery is too dead. Let's give it a boost. This ground wire is probably no good either. Still got a loose connection here someplace. Get a little boost. See if that works. Still have the green light. Trying to boost again. Something's got to give. Why we got no crank? You know one of those are hot. And here's warm. And here's warm. Come on, Gulu, you can do it. You can do it.
about connections, I guess. You do lose 4,000. This thing, the battery's frozen solid in it. I'm gonna, heck, one of the lights came back. I'm gonna warn you guys ahead of time that this is gonna trip the alarm system. So, keys in the hand, ready to go. Okay, that didn't do it. Maybe we have a residual charge from the last time. Let's see, we have no lights showing up on here. lights on there, I wonder why. Probably because this battery is deader than the doornail. And no lights. I wonder. Not the grip. Okay, we're going to push the boost button, open the door, hey, that normally the alarm goes off, but if I disconnect this, the battery's going to die, well, yeah, the engine's going to die, so, I start this back up again. I need to leave this hooked up so I can move the vehicle. Got to hit the boost again. Battery's completely flat dead. The car will probably die in a few minutes because it's all got a residual charge in it. Well, there you have it. Totally dead Subaru, totally dead Lexus. One jump start pack that's down one bar now and probably could do another half a dozen vehicles easily without needing to be recharged again. I'm, I'm quite impressed with it. Um, so yeah, if you guys like that one, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate the subscriptions, by the way. And don't forget, you got no more excuses. Pick up those wrenches.
You guys can probably tell by some of the footage in here that things didn't exactly go as planned. But uh, we'll see how we uh, what we can do to make the best of it. All right, now that I got a good battery, I'm gonna show you how this is done. Battery in the camera just would not hold up. It's cold out here. It's 24 degrees. I'm freezing myself silly. So we're gonna do this as quickly as we can. Now that I've got all of the little bugs figured out in this thing, and I know the difference between positive and negative now. I'm sure we got a good connection here. Lights green. Go ahead and hit the boost button. Start. We lost one bar. 